After a while, we finally have some news about season 6 of Miraculous Ladybug. With the London special, the final stages of the production were hinted at, but later, we didn't get to see anything else about the series. This month, unfortunate news was announced about the premiere date of the season. The season's premiere, which was once set for the end of 2024, was postponed to 2025. But actually, it wasn't a big surprise, as the trailer of the season had a lot of unfinished material. Sadly, that means we don't have any content from Miraculous Ladybug for at least three more months. But there was also some exciting news, like a new screenshot from Season 6. In the screenshot, we see Ladybug in her new outfit from Season 6. She has a relaxed, confident expression, while Cat Noir prances around in the background. The setting on the rooftops of Paris has a different vibe. Although it maintains the structure, the colors are more vibrant and the buildings appear more realistic. It seems like this scene is one of the Lady Noir scenes. We'll see. And what do you guys think about this new screenshot? That's ridiculous. You've always delivered. Trust yourself, Ladybug, like I trust you. If I have to give my miraculous back, then fine, I will. And that's not the only image we got from Season 6. The poster from Season 6 was finally published. It features Ladybug and Cat Noir in dynamic poses against the Parisian night sky, with the Eiffel Tower illuminated in the background. Ladybug is in the foreground with her yo-yo, while Cat Noir is positioned mid-jump acting like a cat. Although it is photoshopped, we get to see the new look of the characters' faces closely. After a lot of rough criticism, fans are actually focused on discovering more about the new season since they are close to being pleased with the new look. Aside from these, we learned that the voice dubbing sessions for season 6 have started. The voice director of the show published a picture of the main cover of the script. Later, we found out that the voice actor for Zoe recorded some lines in the studio. Since it's impossible to know exactly what they were recording, there are some theories about what might happen with Chloe and Zoe, because we also know that Chloe is coming back to Paris in season 6. Mm, ridiculous! With Chloe's potential return in Miraculous Ladybug Season 6, Zoe could play an important role, particularly if she's positioned as Chloe's moral compass, reversing their previous dynamic. When Zoe arrived in Paris, she initially tried to act like Chloe to gain family approval, but eventually embraced her gentler nature with Marinette's encouragement and the support of her friends. Chloe's exile to New York after the power grab fiasco could shake her sense of self-worth, as seen when she hit rock bottom in the episode Revolution. In one possible return scenario, Chloe's arrival in Paris could be managed by Zoe, who has since become more comfortable with her identity. Strengthened by her acceptance in Marinette's group, Zoe may be the one who pushes Chloe to adopt a kinder, more respectful approach to others. Furthermore, it might even be Zoe's blackmail towards Chloe. If she doesn't behave kindly, she'll be sent back to New York. This reversal could be Chloe's path to redemption, which is something heavily desired by the series' fans. It would probably be very satisfying to see an Uno reverse card here. Zoe, who once struggled under Chloe's influence, may now inspire her sister to re-examine her values. Just as Chloe once demanded Zoe be ruthless to win, Zoe will probably now encourage Chloe to stop her disrespectful actions. But just like the cost of the ultimate power, each action will have a consequence. The show has already shown us that Chloe is not naturally good, nor is she likely capable of a complete redemption. All of these limitations could bring Chloe closer to Cerise. Chloe may only act kindly until she has enough power and status to regain her previous position with Cerise's help. It's not my name that matters, but who I hate. And I think we've got a lot in common on that front. Chloe and Cerise's relationship in Miraculous Ladybug Season 6 could well evolve into an alliance once again. This time, Cerise might have a better opportunity to manipulate Chloe. With Chloe's repeated failures and Cerise's deceptive nature, Cerise could offer Chloe power until she achieves her own goals. Cerise's endgame might involve using Chloe to destabilize the heroes while secretly working towards her ambitions, possibly targeting miraculous holders, or seeking revenge on Marinette. On the other hand, Zoe might suspect something about Chloe and start stalking her, eventually discovering that her sister was merely acting kind all along and is in collaboration with Cerise. Another interesting piece of news about new Miraculous projects is the new spin-off special called Miraculous Stellar Force. 
The special was publicly announced by Thomas Asterix on his social media. It turns out that the series is now in production, but this time, it's in 2D. Aside from this, we're also going to be introduced to two new heroes, Lady Dragon and Stellar Force. However, this information is a bit odd because in the Shanghai special episode, we were already introduced to Lady Dragon, who was Faye. So, in total, there's only one genuinely new character, Stellar Force. Based on the name, it looks like the events will take place in space. Perhaps we'll see the heroes traveling to different planets and battling other villains. Who knows? This information has caused some confusion on social media, with people wondering, are we going to have two different series set in one place? The first one is the spin-off Miraculous Stellar Force, and the second one is the special episode Miraculous World, Tokyo. I think that's the case, but the two could also be a single production. Meow, 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 meow. And we have one more special. Yes, it's finally in production. Miraculous World, Rio. It's planned to be the sixth TV special of Miraculous. As you know, there was speculation about the Brazil special featuring a new character, Lady Butterfly. However, I don't think we'll see her, as she was originally planned as a character from another series. But anything might have changed, so we still don't know. I'm actually very interested in the plot. What might be Rio's connection with our heroes? Or will the heroes visit the places Luca went in Season 5 to train as guardians to protect themselves from being acclimatized by Monarch? This will remain a mystery until we see the special episode. And the final news is about Miraculous, the movie 2. It's now revealed that the movie will take place partially in Paris. In the first movie, it ended when Natalie entered the secret basement where Adrian's mother, Emily, lay preserved, wearing the peacock Miraculous. We all thought that we would see Ladybug and Cat Noir battle Mayura in the second movie. However, it appears that Natalie won't be the only villain Ladybug and Cat Noir will face. Another interesting detail about the second movie is an image published long ago, showing a mysterious character who seems to wear the cat Miraculous. The character appears ready for action against a dark, atmospheric Paris backdrop with the Eiffel Tower silhouetted in the distance. The character's outfit, mask, and the presence of the Cat Miraculous emblem suggest they are either a new Cat Miraculous holder or an alternate version of Cat Noir. This is very unusual. What do you guys think about this new character? And that's it, everyone! These were all the latest updates from the Miraculous Universe. What do you think of them? Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and leave your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video. Bye.